Gamebridge Fieldhouse is the site where the Indiana Fever 9-14 will play the Phoenix Mercury 12-10 on Friday. In their last game, the Phoenix Mercury played the Dallas Wings and secured a win by a final score of 100-84. Phoenix had an impressive shooting performance. Finishing with a 59% field goal percentage and converting 9 of their 21 shots from beyond the arc, they were also efficient from the free throw line. Making 19 of 22 attempts for an 86.4% rate. The Mercury grabbed 22 rebounds, including 4 offensive boards, and dished out 24 assists. Defensively, Phoenix forced 14 turnovers and collected 8 steals. They allowed Dallas to shoot 50% from the field, while Dallas only managed 7 assists and 5 steals. Dallas grabbed 26 rebounds and made 13 of 18 free throws, along with 7 of 19 attempts from 3-point range. On the other side, the Indiana Fever took a narrow defeat with a final score of 89-84 against the Washington Mystics. The Fever managed 29 rebounds but committed 21 turnovers, despite recording 9 steals. The Mystics drew 18 fouls, sending the Fever to the free throw line for 17 attempts, of which they made 14. Indiana shot 53.4% from the floor and 32% from beyond the arc. Defensively, they allowed Washington to shoot 44% from the field, 35% from three-point range, and 84.2% from the free-throw line. The Fever gave up 31 rebounds to Washington. Caitlin Clark was a standout for Indiana in this game, converting 7 out of 14 field goals for a 50% shooting percentage and securing 5 rebounds. Clark scored 29 points in her 38 minutes on the court and added 13 assists. The Indiana Fever currently hold a record of 9-14. They have scored 1,857 points this season and averaged 34.0 rebounds per game. The Fever commit 19.0 fouls per game and shoot 76.6% from the free throw line. Offensively, they rank 4th in the league with a 44.3% field goal percentage. They average 19.9 assists per game and commit 14.0 turnovers per game. Defensively, the Fever are ranked 11th in the league, allowing 87.3 points per game. They force 11.9 turnovers per game and allow opponents to shoot 44.7% from the field. The Indiana defense allows 34.9% on three-point shots and opponents convert on 81% of their free throws. They allow 21.6 assists and 34.2 rebounds per game, ranking 10th and 5th in the league respectively. Final score prediction, Phoenix Mercury plus 4, with a final score of 82-78 in favor of the Mercury. The Atlanta Dream 7-14 play the Las Vegas Aces 14-7 at Gateway Center Arena on Friday. In their last game, the Las Vegas Aces played the Seattle Storm and secured a win by a final score of 84-79. The Aces shot 42.9% from the field and made 5 of their 23 shots from beyond the arc they were nearly perfect from the free throw line hitting 19 of 20 attempts for a 95% success rate. The Aces grabbed 38 rebounds, with 4 being offensive, and dished out 21 assists. Defensively, they forced 13 turnovers and had 7 steals. The Aces allowed Seattle to shoot 40.3% from the field. The Storm recorded 10 assists and had 4 steals in the game. Additionally, Seattle grabbed 40 rebounds and managed 1 block. Seattle also hit 87.5% from the free throw line, converting 14 of 16 attempts and made 3 of their 17 three-point attempts. Jackie Young was a standout performer for the Aces in this game. She scored 27 points on 10 of 19 shooting, grabbed 5 rebounds, and contributed 4 assists while shooting 52.6% from the field in 34 minutes of play. The Aces have a win-loss record of 14-7 for the season. Las Vegas is shooting 34.8% from three-point range and 84.3% from the charity stripe. They lead the WNBA with an average of 89.1 points per game on 45.3% shooting from the floor. They average 11.2 turnovers per game and commit 17.2 fouls per game. The Aces grab 35.8 rebounds per contest and rank 8th in the league with 440 assists. Defensively, they forced 12.0 turnovers per game while drawing 17.7 .7 personal fouls. They allow 36.8% shooting from three-point range and are 8th in the WNBA in points allowed per game. Opponents shoot 43% from the field against them, and they allow 35.2 rebounds per game. They rank 5th in the league in assists allowed, conceding 436 this season. In their last game, the Atlanta Dream were defeated by the Chicago Sky with a final score of 78-69. 
the Dream recorded 31 defensive rebounds and 5 offensive rebounds, totaling 36 for the game. They committed 14 turnovers and recorded 6 steals. Chicago committed 13 personal fouls, sending the Dream to the free throw line for 16 attempts, where they made 11. The Dream shot 20% from 3-point range and 40.6% from the floor. Defensively, they allowed the Sky to make 43.2% of their shots from the field. The Sky hit 35.3% from beyond the arc and 61.5% from the free throw line. The Dream allowed Chicago to grab 43 rebounds. Alicia Gray was a major contributor for the Dream in this game. She shot 47.4% from the field and grabbed 6 rebounds. Gray scored 20 points and added 1 assist in her 37 minutes on the court. The Atlanta Dream hold a win-loss record of 7-14 this season. Offensively, the Dream are shooting 41.1% from the field, ranking 12th in the league. They have scored 1,586 points this season and averaged 34.6 rebounds per game. The Dream rank 12th in the league in assists with 18.9 per game and commit 13.1 turnovers per game. They average 17.3 fouls per game and hit 77.4% of their free throws. Defensively, the Dream rank 6th in points allowed per game, giving up 80.8. They force 12.3 turnovers per game and allow teams to shoot 42.9% from the field, which ranks 4th in the league. The Dream allow 35.4% shooting from 3-point range and 79.3% from the free throw line. They allow 21.0 assists and 35.2 rebounds per game, ranking 8th in both categories. Final score prediction, Las Vegas Aces minus 14, with a final score of 88 to 74 in favor of the Aces. Seattle Storm vs. Minnesota Lynx Preview The Minnesota Lynx secured a dominant 102-67 victory over the Los Angeles Sparks in their last game. The Lynx shot an impressive 61.5% from the field and 47.6% from beyond the arc Bridget Carlton was a standout player. Scoring 16 points on 85.7% shooting while grabbing 4 rebounds and dishing out 3 assists. Overall, the Lynx boast a 16-6 record and excel in both scoring and defense, averaging 82.1 points per game and allowing only 73.9 points per game, making them a formidable opponent. The Seattle Storm, on the other hand, are coming off a narrow 84-79 loss to the Las Vegas Aces. Despite the loss, Jewel Lloyd had a strong performance, scoring 28 points and adding 3 rebounds and 3 assists. The Storm have a 14-8 record and are solid defensively, allowing 78.4 points per game while averaging 83.9 points per game. Their defense forces 15.1 turnovers per game, and they excel in free throw shooting at 82.9%. Key Players and Injuries Minnesota Lynx, Bridget Carlton 16 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists last game. Seattle Storm, Jewel Lloyd 28 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists last game. Injuries, no major injuries reported for both teams. Props and final score predictions. Jewel Lloyd, over 25 points. Bridget Carlton, over 15 points. Rebounds, Minnesota Lynx to grab over 35 rebounds. Assists, Seattle Storm to record over 20 assists. Final score prediction. Seattle Storm 86, Minnesota Lynx 80 Seattle minus 6. Additional details. Seattle's offensive efficiency, the Storm's ability to shoot 43.4% from the field and convert 82.9% of their free throws makes them a consistent threat on offense. They rank 8th in field goal percentage and are effective in drawing fouls and converting free throws. Minnesota's defensive prowess, the Lynx allow opponents to shoot only 39.6% from the field, demonstrating their strong defensive capabilities. They are first in the league in assists allowed and second in points allowed per game. Rebounding battle, Minnesota averages 34.8 rebounds per game, while Seattle pulls down 36.0 rebounds per game. The battle on the boards will be crucial in this matchup, with both teams looking to dominate the glass. This game promises to be a tight contest between two strong teams, with the Storm's home court advantage and the Lynx's recent form setting up an intriguing battle.